Hey guys, we are here today at the Okmulgee Mounds National Historical Park in Macon, Georgia. We're going to go check out the Indian Mounds and give you some awesome history along the way. So let's get going. archaeological dig ever conducted in the United States took place here at the Elkmulgee Mounds. It began in December of 1933 and went through 1936 and it enlisted over 800 men from Roosevelt's efforts during the Great Depression. Men from the Works Progress Administration, the Civil Works Administration, the Federal Emergency Relief Administration, and later the CCC excavated under the direction of Dr. Arthur Kelly from the Smithsonian Institute. Altogether, 2.5 million artifacts were discovered, from pottery to bones to seeds to arrowheads to metals, including the Earth Lodge floor behind us. This dig helped piece together a timeline of people that lived on the Macon Plateau between 12,000 BCE to 1800 CE. The Creek people lived here on the Macon Plateau until 1836 when they were forced to leave by President Andrew Jackson. They considered the mounds here built by their ancestors to be a sacred place. Alright, so today is Memorial Day weekend and we decided to get out of the house because we have been super busy with our move and everything. We didn't really want to go out of town just to get some stuff done, but this weekend was just, it's just been beautiful. The temperature has been amazing, the weather's amazing, and so we just, we had to get out of the house. We had to go somewhere, do so something. Want to check out something close by so we didn't have to travel as much. Yeah. But, but last night when we were doing like our research on the mounds out here and just, um, Coming up with some stuff to tell y'all, we actually came across a History Channel um, called Unearthed. Yeah, it was Unearthed um, on the History on, Channel. Yeah, Unearthed on the History Channel. We found an episode on YouTube, and it was about how some historians and architects um, have linked the Mayan culture to the Creek culture here in, jo in Georgia. Yeah. Like their language is like super closely related. Like up from what they said on the History Channel, it was basically like 50-50. A lot of the language they used here was the same language they used in the Yucatan and Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, and also um, the color uh, that the Mayans used down in Mexico called Mayan, Mayan blue. blue. It's made out of like a mineral that they have not been able to find down in Mexico, but it's like in abundance here in Georgia. So yeah, they they think that maybe um, the Mayans like came up here, were in Georgia, and migrated down to Mexico, and then when they started abandoning, um, when they started abandoning their yeah, ruins, they basically yeah. were saying that they a lot of them ended up coming here and becoming basically the Creek mm -hmm. Indians, yeah, and the they're way they're that found they... in Florida as well. Mm -hmm. um, and also in North Georgia, there's more Indian mounds in North Georgia that are very, very closely related to how the Mayans built their stuff. There's one here in a like spiraled mound, like all the way to the top, and you can look at the the way the Aztecs designed their like temples and things. They had spirals going up, but the if you oh the, the not the Aztecs, the Mayan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, so as you if you look around, you can you know there's nothing here. All these hills are basically built by the Indians. Most of the, like, Georgia's flat, oh, in middle Georgia anyway. Yeah, this is the coastal so plain. You can look around and tell that if they really did leave, you know, the Mayan cities and come here, they wouldn't have had the same building material. They would have had, you know, Georgia red clay to work with. So that's probably what they would have gotten. Yeah, but so their they would have built really their own like mountain. Closely mirror 
the uh, Mayan structures. Yeah, we just thought it was super interesting. And if you'd like to look it up, just uh, look up Unearth on the History Channel on YouTube, and you should be able, it should be like linking Indians in Georgia to the Mayans in Mexico. It's really cool. So I'd I'd recommend checking it out. In 1936, this area was declared a national monument. In 1937, the CCC camp was established, and the men assisted with uh, rehabilitation efforts of the excavation sites and construction projects. Construction projects included building their own camp, restoring the earth lodge, building the museum, paving roads, and preparing the trails between the museum and the earth lodge that has become a local landmark. On December 7, 1941, with Pearl Harbor, lives changed. By the beginning of 1942, only 40% of the CCC members remained at the Okmulgee National Monument. All emphasis was being placed on the war effort, and by February 1942, all work at the Okmulgee National Monument ended. Currently, there are six miles of trails throughout the landscape of the Okmulgee Mounds National Historical Park and they provide access to historical sites such as the Great Temple Mound and the Earth Lodge. So, we've made it to the top of the Greater Temple Mound. It's 55 feet tall on a base that is 300 feet by 270 feet. I mean, we are like touching the top of the trees. Like, it's crazy how tall it is. And then behind me is the Lesser Temple Mount, and it currently stands at 12 feet tall, or around 12 feet tall. Because in the 1830s, when they um, put in the railroad, they actually kind of destroyed some of that temple, or that temple mount. Also, behind me is the Earth Lodge. So you can see the Earth Lodge from here and you can also see the Funeral Mound from here and they've actually unearthed, unearthed around 100 bodies from the Funeral Mound. It's really cool and really interesting just to see like up here the top of the trees like being up here with the birds in the sky and it's like I can't even kind of grasp like how they made this mound like how did they like get that much dirt <laughs> I don't know it's just like cool to see all the different mounds and there are other mounds um, throughout this area um, but they've either been like surrounded by trees or are no longer visible um, it's really really interesting to see like what could have been like just picture in your mind what could have been and what they use this for I really like that part of history so if you haven't already heard there is an effort to make this area a national park and preserve. On January 25th of this year, the National Park Service launched a special resource study of the Okmulgee River Corridor from Macon, Georgia to Hawkinsville, Georgia. This study area covers roughly 50 miles of Bibb, Bleckley, Pulaski, Houston, and Twiggs counties in middle Georgia. The study will assess the historical, environmental, and cultural information of the corridor, as well as get public input. So this research study is a significant step in the process of creating a national park or preserve. This area has such historical significance, and the Okmulgee River is a special place and has such unique value to this area was once home to the ancient Mississippian civilization, as well as their descendants, the Creek people. This area is recognized as one of the most important American historical archaeological landscapes. The Okmulgee River Corridor is a critical migratory flyaway and wildlife habitat. It's actually home to one of Georgia's three black bear populations and contains the largest block of forested habitat remaining in the upper coastal plain. The goal of creating a national park and preserve is to establish a 35 mile long protected river corridor for wildlife and to honor and preserve the history of this land from Native American ownership to present day. We really hope that happens because this is a beautiful area with so much rich history. And if you'd like to learn more about the efforts and the progress of this, you can check it out on georgiaconservancy.org. 
All right, guys, so we really enjoyed checking out the Oak Mulgee Mounds here in Macon, Georgia, and we hope you enjoyed it as well. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to follow along for more of our adventures. We're going to pin our Georgia Hikes playlist at the end of this video so you can check out more of our awesome hikes that we've done in Georgia. Thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing you on our next adventure. Bye.